Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. My gosh, we're back to it's Lauren. <laughs> Help me. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Today is my monthly video that I've titled what I spent and what was sent. This is a series that I started as basically a peek behind the curtain of what I buy for my channel and just like personally when it comes to makeup every single month and also what gets sent to me because I do YouTube. I really like the transparency of this and I really like having that number to what I've spent but also what is being sent to me because for me at least hearing a number is always this kind of grounding reality check of helping me decide what I want it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy of all this makeup which I'm gonna be showing you a lot of that in this video a lot of makeup and beauty stuff and it costs a lot of money and I feel like by grounding us with the reality of the numbers I hope that it will help you make the best decisions and more personal decisions that align with your goals or your budget or your finances because I know for me looking at numbers like that always helps me do that. So that's just something I'm interested in. I don't know. But anyway, this is going to be a bit of a long one. I feel like coming toward the end of the year, um, everything kind of picks up, I feel like in any type of retail situation. And I feel like that's definitely reflected in this month. And also because I was planning on spending quite a bit for Black Friday, which I'm actually doing a whole separate video for Black Friday since I'm waiting for most of that stuff to still get here. And I thought it would be boring as hell to just show you pictures of everything. So that video will be coming. This is going to be more of stuff that I didn't really buy for Black Friday. This was all stuff that was just like kind of purchased throughout the month. I have like a kind of a weird one, but let's just get into it. First, we're going to start off with the items that I've purchased. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to start off with the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie palette that came out. I ended up buying the palette as well as the three liners. I just have two to show you, but I have a whole video on this if you want to see like my first impressions. I also did do a giveaway with that video, so I'm counting the palette that I bought as a giveaway just in this because it was like the full order but so far I really enjoyed it it's kind of exactly what I expected you know I feel like Colourpop is very what you see is what you get for the most part like they have a very consistent formula overall and honestly I just thought this palette was so cute I wanted to buy it because Oh my gosh, my earring just like fell out. Um, let's put that back in. I don't even know if I have an, a backing for it. Shoot, maybe I shouldn't move around too much. Let's be very robotic. Anyway, I just thought the color story was really pretty. I really loved the darker mattes in here that were still colorful. That was kind of the push over the edge, if you will, for me to purchase this palette. And I also do love that ColourPop um, has the pans that are removable if I want to. Although I want to mention here that these pans in the actual palettes tend to be smaller than the singles you can buy individually off of ColourPop's website. So if you're buying this to then switch them out with those singles, it's not gonna work. But the other palettes, you can switch those in between palettes if that makes sense. Just wanted to throw that out. So that's been going well. And then I have really been enjoying the liners. <laughs> if you watch the video, there was an issue. Something about the way I was swatching these in the camera made them break off a little bit. So I haven't had any breakage when I've used them on my eyes actually, but in that swatch video, it just like kept happening. So um, there's, I honestly have like this faint distant memory of that happening in the past. So I'm kind of not surprised, but uh, let me know if that was an issue for you. So for everything, the giveaway palette, my palette, and the bundle, because that was all kind of a bundled set, I spent $66.79 on ColourPop's website. Next, I have some Ulta purchases. One was more of a utilitarian purchase, but they had Batiste buy one, get one free, so I ended up getting four different bottles. I picked up the Tropical. My favorite probably is the volumizing one, but that one was not a part of the deal, unfortunately. It ended up being with the discount and also with like the coupon you could use. I spent like $50. 15, eight, like I spent 1586 on four bottles of Batiste, which I thought was pretty good. I tend to get them at TJ Maxx, but I haven't been in a TJ Maxx since like the pandemic started. So I thought the deal was pretty good and I jumped on it. And it was just a bonus on top of that because I had a gift card come in from my aunt from last Christmas. Like, I don't know what happened with that, but it was 25 bucks. So that went on the gift card. And so did this. This is not a utilitarian purchase. And I don't believe this was on sale for Black Friday either. I think they're just clearing these out of stores because it was an insane deal, you guys. I don't know if it was all sugar pill, but this was 75% off. And if you watched my Black Friday video, I had said, I don't think I'm gonna actually pick up the sugar pill capsule palettes unless they're like $10. Well, this ended up being $10 and change. And then I think with tax and everything, it was technically under 
under 12, but I can't, I can't find my receipt for it. So I know I spent less than $12 on this palette though. And that was such a good deal. You guys let me know in the comments. I had some messages about it. So thank you guys so much. This is the C2 palette. I called around quite a few Ulta's so that I could get this because none of the Ulta's around me carry sugar pill in store, but it was definitely worth worth the time, worth the energy to get this for such an amazing deal. I love the color story of this palette and I'm glad that I got it. I don't think that this would be worth 42 to me, like having it in my hands and all that. And that's not because the quality isn't there. I just, when I think about it, if I were to think about how much $42 in my life. Like all, when I'm just doing the calculations, you know, mathing it out, I'm very happy I got this for the price that I did. Wish I could have got the first one, but you know, I'll be grateful, I'll be grateful. So I picked that up. What, I can't believe, it. like how long have I been talking about getting this palette? Continuing on, another purchase that I made, uh, not really for Black Friday, just as like a re-up of my foundation is the Yensa BC foundation. I used up a full one of these that they had sent me and then I went and purchased this myself because I liked it that much. I've been having some issues with foundation. I've been trying to find ones that I like. When I was looking at my foundation drawer, like they're all different colors. I really wanna do just like a trying on all my foundations and showing all the different colors that supposedly are like my color that I have in my drawer, all that. But anyway, I picked this up before Black Friday because I didn't know if they were gonna do a Black Friday deal. And honestly, I would have paid full price for this anyway. I got like a 15% off discount though, so that was nice. And I'm in the shade Light Neutral. This is just a really nice staple like foundation base product for me. So with everything, tax, shipping, it was just this one item and it was $38.43. Another product that I just couldn't wait for Black Friday for and bought was the Natasha Denona I Need a Glow Highlighter. This is the limited edition like holiday highlighter that came out this year and I just was so excited for it but unfortunately I'm not a fan of this which if you watched my video kind of doing random makeup reviews you already know that but it's just sad. It's so sad <laughs> that it doesn't work out. I thought it would because I love the Natasha Denona Super Glow Highlighter that I have. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It gave me a false sense of confidence that this would work for me, but I find this is just not formula wise something I enjoy. It's a little stiff, a little powdery, not as reflective as I'd like it to be. And then also the base on it is just a little too deep. Like when the light's not hitting it, it just is a little too deep for me. So unfortunately it just doesn't compare. Is it the worst thing ever? Maybe not, but it definitely doesn't work well for me. And also I don't want to take the time to make it work. Like it shouldn't, it should just be easier than this for me. I tried using it with a sponge. Someone suggested that and it still really didn't work out, unfortunately. Maybe in the summer, that's the only thing I could think. Maybe in the summer, if I'm more tan, like I'm not even wearing bronzer today, look at me. I'm very pale in this video. <laughs> I tried to just do like a glowy little look, which um, I have a video on this if you wanna check it out. Anyway, 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 maybe I'll keep it around for summer, but I might pass it on to a friend who uh, could get some nice use out of this. The reason that I purchased this early though was because I was making a purchase for a friend for a palette and it was on a pretty good sale and I was getting it as a gift for her and so then I just like added this on as like a gift for me. <laughs> what a mistake. And so I put the total for that as $42 because it had no discount. I just bought it. Who am I? Who am I? Lauren, wait for discounts. <laughs> A few more things to talk about. I ended up buying Ipsy, you guys. So if you don't know, I recently, in the last couple of months, I've been getting sent Ipsy, like from Ipsy to my house. So I'm not subscribed personally or wasn't, I guess, now I am. And it was just confusing. I feel like every video I've made, the last two have been really confusing for me as a person because I just don't know the Ipsy world. Like I don't know how the add-ons work. I don't know how any of that stuff goes and they send me the bag as well as the, the Glam Bag Plus all together in one box and I'm just like, I, <laughs> I have no idea where to go off of, which you guys told me about my beauty subscription addiction or something like that. So I'm definitely gonna check that website out. Um, I'll link it down below. So I'm gonna use that website as like a reference, but I also thought, you know what? I am just gonna subscribe at least for a little bit and kind of see what's going on, kind of be in there myself because I feel like that was the thing I really liked about when I was getting boxed. Charm. I paid for all my boxy charms. I knew how the sales worked. I knew how the add-ons worked and all that because I was into it, right? And so 
I thought me having Ipsy would just make for a better video for you guys to be more informative, for me to feel more informed and not like a little idiot <laughs> not knowing what's going on. And I also thought it'd be interesting to see the glam bag PR versus my glam bag that I've filled out like a little survey thing on. So I got the glam bag. I just did the regular glam bag. It's like 13 something plus tax for it to get sent here. And then I did do some add-ons because I, I don't know, I was just once again kind of trying things out. Plus I was obviously interested in these specific things. So in add-ons, I picked up this Awake Glow Pill Super Serum. I have so many glowy serums at the moment, um, which don't get me wrong, I love. I'm really into skincare right now. I'm really trying to let my skin soak up and drink up everything and masking. I'm, I'm really trying over here, okay? I'm trying to not only care about highlighters. It's hard, but I'm, I'm really trying. I believe Awake is like Tarte's sister brand, but I thought I'd give it a go. I think it was 12 bucks. Really the, just the name Glow Pill like sent me on such a vision of what I wanted for my skin, so I picked it up. <laughs> the other full size add-on that I got is this Pixi Pencil. It's the Endless Silky Eye Pen. This is in matte mulberry. I don't use like liquid winged eyeliner type stuff, but I do use pencil eyeliners to smudge on my lower lash line. Sometimes I'll tight line or smudge on the top lash line, and I really liked the idea of this matte kind of neutrally purple mulberry color. So I picked that up from Pixi, and I've really been enjoying the formula of it. It, that was a really good uh, add-on to me. And then more recently, they, they do a lot of stuff. I get like 10 million emails, very similar to BoxyCharm in that way, but they had this kind of like, these minis you could add on. And so I did try a couple of those and I actually love the fact that they're minis. Like I would love to get these in the glam bag. First off, this is from Ciate London. It's the Date Night Blush. Okay, can every blush come this small? Seriously? I mean, honestly, it's just the most adorable thing ever, but also practicality wise, it's like this blush is still gonna last you for freaking ever. This is just like a really glowy, beautiful blush. I had one of these from BoxyCharm. I think I got one from Ciate London. Um, in the same like formula, but that had broke. And so um, I'm excited to have this one. And then the other one I got was this Take Home the Bronze uh, Oliver Bronzer from The Balm. Really tiny. Um, this one's a little bit, it'll be interesting to get my brush in there and evenly coated, but I'm gonna give that a go. And uh, I love that they were minis. I think they were like $4 a piece or something. So I'm now in the Ipsy world. We'll see how that goes. If I wasn't doing the Ipsy videos, I wouldn't be getting Ipsy. I really just think it's a better piece for my video. So I consider this a little bit more of like a business expense than some of the other things that I've purchased. And with everything with Ipsy that I bought, it was $35.15 and that was the glam bag plus all those add-ons I just showed you. I have three more things to talk about. I told you this month was a little bit bigger for me. Next we have some big boys. Okay, these palettes from Colored Rain were on an insane deal, you guys. I think these are normally like $40 a piece. Look how big they are. I mean, it's my head times two. This is the Colored Rain X Power palette and so these are just empty magnetic palettes. And as you can see, I have my shadows in them. They also have a mirror and they're massive. I think they hold like 96 shadows or something. And so I picked up three of these because, because you guys, these were on sale somehow for $11 and like 40 something. Why is everything $11 and 40 something cents? But seriously, like $11 and change. I've been wanting these like bigger kind of storage palettes. That's what I'm gonna use these as for my single shadows as a way to just hold them. And then I have my other palettes to do more like curated color stories and have in my bathroom and have when I'm actually doing my makeup. And I've been looking at prices and you know, it's just, I don't think it's too expensive. It's just, you know, I was kind of waiting for a deal kind of slinking around looking for a deal. And when this one happened, I struck and it was worth it, you guys. So many shadows are in here. Really happy so far with the quality. I will say they're very heavy and I think that's because of the mirror. I personally don't need a mirror in here cause I'm not using the mirror, you know, to like do anything. So I wish it wasn't heavy for that, but I can't complain. I cannot complain about freaking less than $12 a piece for these massive palettes. And so in total, my Colored Rain purchase was $46.54. I feel like I get texted all the time now from brands cause I've been signing up for discounts and all the stuff. And that could be its own video. Let me know if you wanna see that because some of these brands are annoying as hell. But I will say, I think that either one of you guys or maybe it was a mixture of you guys and the text messages were what led me to this deal. So I will say I'm appreciative of that because I'm so 
glad I basically got all three of these for the price of one. They're gonna just be such a useful thing in my collection for my videos and also just storing my eyeshadows. Last like true beauty purchase. This is something that I made the purchase and if I had the choice, honestly, I would have waited until like January or February, but it's on a pre-order so I thought I might as well do it now. Um, so I'm calculating it now, but this thing won't get to me until like at least January and even then I'm like maybe later. And that's because I ended up getting the Adept uh, Plain Jane palette. Julia K. March on Instagram is who convinced me to get this because her swatches and just like looking at it. I mean, honestly, let's be real. This palette is totally me. It has all shimmers. It's flaky and shimmery and duochromatic. Like it is so up my alley and I've been wanting to try Adept. So I pulled the trigger on this super expensive palette, like 62 bucks, so expensive. Wish I bought it in the first pre-order so it wasn't that much. It would have been like 50 something at least. But again, like I said, I bought it this month because these aren't gonna even ship out until January. And I didn't wanna wait until January to purchase them and then get them in like April or even May. So I just kind of put my order in, bit the bullet right now, and I'm gonna be really happy in a couple of months when I get it. Of course, I'm also planning on doing a video and showing you guys and kind of being introduced to Adept. So I picked up that palette and then I did also pick up the four piece bundle. It's like one of their newest things as well. I just couldn't resist. I really wanted that bundle. I'm not sure if that's gonna ship to me when the palette ships or if they're gonna ship that to me beforehand. We'll see what happens. I could see it going honestly either way. So I'm not sure when any of that shit's gonna get to me <laughs> but I did buy it in the month of November and I technically didn't wait for any type of sale on that either so that's why it's not going in the Black Friday video all right so the, I have one more thing to show you but I don't know it's really interesting how my opinion has changed on this so I'm gonna give you my total for all that stuff which was three hundred and forty eight dollars and twenty two cents for all the things I talked about all the things coming to me but before we get into the things that were sent I do want to talk about a purchase that I made from blue land which has more like sustainable or like like, you know, more green, earth conscious uh, soaps, as well as like house cleaning stuff and detergent, just all that type of stuff. They're really into reusing the same bottles over and over, which as you guys know, is something that I've been looking into more. And they got me with their cutesy little Instagram stuff. And so I made a purchase. This was also, again, initiated by one of you guys. <laughs> Man, you guys are like a bad influence on me. You guys think I'm a bad influence on you. There's so much more of you to me. <laughs> anyway, the reason that I went over the edge and actually bought from Blue Land is because they actually had some holiday scented soaps. And so they have the soaps where you put the tablet in the water, it dissolves, and then it turns into foaming hand soap. And I've been really into that. Now, this is what's so strange. If I had bought hand soaps from Bath and Body Works, I would have wanted to include them in my like total of money for the month. Even though technically it's not beauty and it is a household thing, like I guess it's kind of weird that I talked about it before, but I think there was something about it that felt a little bit more like frivolous. And so I think that's why it felt like it should be counted in like my makeup stuff, it felt just as frivolous in a way. But the blue land doesn't feel that way, so it feels weird to include it to me. I just thought that was interesting, but I still wanted to show you the hand soaps because that's my channel. Hi, I'm Laura May Beauty and I freaking love hand soap and I love talking to you about it. <laughs> It is what you subscribed for. Okay, so I made Sam collect the hand soaps from my bathroom. I ended up buying the starter set. So these are two like glass bottle, which I really like that. They feel really sturdy, they look nice. They do say Blue Land on them, but I feel like it's kind of classier than not. Anyway, I have like a million of the packets. I bought quite a few because I really wanted to have a lot on hand that I could use and kind of continue using over and over so I could really get a good idea of the system. Plus I wanted a way for me to definitely not purchase Bath and Body Works soaps and not get tempted because I have so many packets, you know? Oh my God, the earring situation is a situation. So I've put all my little packets in this reusable puzzle container that I have. Well, it's a bag that I got from a puzzle. Anyway, so this is what they look like. I have so many scents. What do you want? Gingerbread? I got you, girl. What about um, Parian Lemon? Don't even know how to say it, but I got it. Ooh, Evergreen. That's one of the holiday scents. Pretty Earthy. This is one that I'm using right now. Really love the scent of this. I was sucked in by the promise of fig, but it's also a collaboration with Reformation. And so I was like, wow, I'm so cool. This is Lavender Eucalyptus. 
And there's like one more. Oh, there's like a peppermint one for the Christmas scents or the holiday scents. And then this one's Iris Agave. So I have literally every single soap scent that they have. So I can try them all out, figure out what my favorite is. So that's the one I can actually repurchase after I use these. But so far it's going really well. I do really like them. We're trying gingerbread. That one's really nice. And then like I said, that pretty earthy one, that's also been great. I will say I use like three pumps just to really get a nice lather, but I'm gonna try kind of switching up and not doing as much water per tablet and seeing how that goes. And also I highly suggest using warm water, like as hot of water as you can to dissolve the tablet so it goes as fast as possible. I did it with like cold water and it took a while <laughs> with the first one. So anyway, so far so good on the hand soaps. But, 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 I did buy some stuff for like my actual house, like cleaning products. I really liked the idea of having the refillable tablets and all that, but for cleaning. So they have like a Windex type alternative. They have a bathroom spray and then they have a multi-purpose. I do not suggest you guys, I don't suggest. So these aren't glass bottles. These are just like more heavy duty plastic, which you know, you're gonna reuse it. So I guess there's that. And I think they did do glass at one point, but I think people were like breaking them and stuff. So I think that's why they switched. Anyway, that's not my real issue. My issue is that uh, two of them, I think it's the yellow one, which is the all purpose. And I think it's the bathroom one. You guys, they smell disgusting. They smell musty, crusty gross, kind of like feet, kind of like baby diapers, kind of disgusting, okay? By kind of, I mean like Sam and I both hate them. And the whole point of them is like to clean. So the fact that they smell gross to me doesn't make me feel clean. It makes me feel like I need to go back through and clean stuff. So, so far, no, so far, no, but I'm probably just gonna keep the packaging and, and try a different service or a different brand or something. I also had an issue with one of the sprayers. I was using it, using it, and then it didn't have any tension in this and then it kind of broke but then it zombied and came back to life. So yeah, <laughs> definitely not the same experience with the cleaning products. Just thought I'd throw that out there in case you actually do purchase. And if you've purchased from Blue Land, let me know your experience. I'd love, love to know what you think about the smells because honestly, I was just like not expecting it and, um, don't enjoy, don't enjoy. Now that we've had this kind of like house cleaning product break, let's move on to the products that were sent to me. Everything that you're gonna see from here on out was sent to me as PR because of my channel. And I feel like this month is quite a big month. And there's a few reasons for that. So first let's get a few things out of the way that I'm not really showing you. One, I got my glam bag, the Ipsy glam bag and the Ipsy glam bag plus um, sent to me. So in total, I calculate that as $37, 12 for the glam bag and 25 for the glam bag. Plus again, if you wanna see that video and wanna see what I got, I'll leave it linked down below. There's just really no reason to bore you and make this video 10 billion times longer. Similarly, I got a ton of products from YesStyle. They gave me quite a large credit so I could shop around and I did that shop with me video, which I believe was yesterday's video. So if you haven't seen that and you want to check it out, I obviously show all the products there. I show me shopping for them. and. I show you how I did this look if you're interested in that. Plus there's a giveaway. I think it's gonna be ending soon. So go check that out. But that was $400. So lots of money there. Obviously super appreciative because I wouldn't have made that purchase probably otherwise. Maybe a few things, but obviously not that much. And that video is like a really long time in the making. So um, it landed in November, but I ended up making that purchase like the end of September or even the beginning of October. So it's just been a super long process with that whole thing. So glad to finally get that video up. <laughs> Moving on from that, I had some really awesome stuff come from Kaleidos this month. The Space Age highlighter set was sent to me. So this was a repackaging of their past highlighters as well as a new highlighter and also a reformulation of Mars Melter. And I got it in the nice little tin. So really the ones I want to like mention or show in this video, which I have a plan to try all these on and give you my thoughts, tell you my favorites that will be coming up hopefully in a couple of days. Oh, fingers crossed for me. Anyway, Mars Melter is that new reformulated one. So this is more of like a peachy, flaky, shimmery color. Really beautiful. The real star of the show, this is the Space Age Prophecy Highlighter. And the reason this is so special is because it's a multi-chrome highlighter. So it flips from like peach and gold to green really beautiful. Um, again, if you saw my video where I was doing some random makeup reviews, this was in there and I think I did a decent job showing the shift. So go check that out if you want to know immediately. But this on its own is really expensive. I think it's like $36. I guess that makes sense for like multi-chromes and stuff. They tend to be pretty expensive, but um, it is beautiful. Very unique, but 
kind of pricey. You can though, the last time I checked the website, you can buy this whole set for like $119 for like every single highlighter. And although I'm not someone who usually would suggest like the whole kit of something, um, I did think that was a pretty decent price. I think otherwise normally the highlighters are around like 14 or 15 bucks. So I got that. I'm excited to do that video for you guys. Kaleidos always has like weird extra stuff too. So this is like some weird like Kaleidos banner towel that you can buy. Such a, like seriously so weird. <laughs> Like, this is so funny. Uh, so that came. And then last for that package, um, there were also three new brushes. So this is the H2 Precision Highlighter Brush. There was a blush brush, and then this is the angled contour. I have a highlighter brush from them before, um, so I think it might just be a repackaging. They're really pretty. The ferrules are really long on them. They're super soft. Personally, I don't know if I'm gonna use these two as how they're suggested. Like, this is definitely not necessarily my type of blush brush. Maybe for draping though. Uh, it's just a little dense and I like an angled blush brush personally. And then with the highlighter brush, I also just really enjoy a fan brush, something a little bit lighter. And this one's pretty dense and I don't like to apply my highlighter that intensely and dense intensely and densely. So those ones I'll probably find other ways to use, but the contour brush, I mean, it would work really well for contouring because of that angle, but I actually really wanna try this as a foundation brush for some reason. Again, it's quite dense to me, um, so I think that's how I'm gonna use it. I'm just like a little rule breaker over here, not listening to anyone, just kinda like, uh, I'm gonna do what I want with my brushes. So we'll see, we'll see how they go, but they're soft. I mean, they seem like nice quality. I'm just gonna use them however I actually want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, anyway, for everything, I calculated all that as $160 and spoiler, watch the Kaleidos highlighter video because I will also be doing a giveaway in that <laughs> because somehow they sent me two of these packages and I can't, I don't know if it was a miscommunication between us because I had mentioned a, a giveaway, but it was more for like products I didn't, I don't know. I don't know if it was a mistake or meant to be, but I have the whole thing and I'm gonna give it away to someone. So if you're interested in that, definitely watch that video. I thought it was like, oh, perfect. I'll just put those two together. Next, let's talk about candles. I love candles so much, you guys. Okay, so Otherland sent me another candle. Uh, I just love candles. Seriously, they're my favorite thing right now. I love the scent experience and Otherland is just like, you know, it's a bougie candle brand. Their candles cost $36 a piece. You can also do something on their website where you can mix and match three different scents and then you can save money that way. And they're also at Sephora now, so that's something too, a little more accessible. But they come so nice. Like, look at this packaging, all for your candle, you know? Like, it's an experience. And then you also get matches too, you guys. It's nice, it's really nice. So anyway, this is the, I think it's the Gilded Collection. It's like their holiday stuff. And I got the scent Fallen Fur. Looking at all the scents, I didn't know what to pick, but I love a balsam or balsam scent, a like Christmas tree type scent. And so the Fallen Fur, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna read you what they say this smells like, and then I'm gonna tell you what I think it smells like. So they say on here, balsam, for musk and winter spice. And to me, okay, it's Christmas vacation. Your grandpa is sitting on a chair. He's had some like crown royal and he's maybe having a cigar cause it's like Christmas. He's kind of smoky or maybe it's the fireplace or maybe it's a mix of both. And it's kind of his cologne as well. It's just definitely very like kind of musky. It's just very like emotional. You know, like it's emotions going on in here. Um, but there's definitely this kind of, yeah, musky, woodsy depth to this scent, which is not normally my scent, but it's nice. Like it's a nice scent. I really enjoy Otherland. Like I think one of the things that you can get, I know it's pricey, I know, but I do feel like they come through with like complexity of scents. Their scents always seem very complex, very unique. It's kind of like the difference of like going to Baskin Robbins for ice cream or going to like Salt and Straw. You know what I mean? That's like the best comparison I can give here. Definitely a nighttime scent though. It has to be nighttime for me to burn this. I still think that my favorite one from them is Canopy. That one's really, really nice. 
Continuing on with candles, I got sent this candle from Octoly and Times. This is the Fraser fur candle, and if you've been here a while, then you already know that this is my shit. This is my favorite like Christmas tree scent ever. When I worked at my old beauty store before I left with my discount, I bought the big guy with like three wicks. It was like a $50 candle. <laughs> this one's smaller, but the scent is just beautiful. The scent throw is so amazing. Really love this. I mean, it's a really nice like pine tree glass outside. Just love this one. It's been really nice to burn throughout the holidays. So that one's been amazing. Definitely like lighter and sweeter than the other lands. So that's just going to depend on like your scent profile and what you like. Some other stuff that I got from Octoly. This is the Ava NYC City Grit Matte Texture Spray. I have fine thin hair. I have four fine thin hairs on my head. So texture sprays, volumizing sprays, anything to give me some volume to pretend I have more than that is what I'm into. This has been okay. I haven't been in love with it but also I'm just struggling right now with my hair if I'm being honest it's like so freaking long I want to chop it all off I'm like this close to having Sam just do it um yeah I just want it off I just want it off my hair although it's very fine and thin and I don't have a lot of it I do find that the longer it gets the more weighed down it gets and so I really do like like a shoulder length haircut on me I feel like I can get the volume that I like it looks thicker it looks fuller and I just feel cute as hell in that haircut and since I don't have that now everything's a little thrown off <laughs> but overall this does give some texture it gives a little bit of volume I just feel like it also for my hair type maybe weighs it down a little too much and sometimes it can if I don't shake it up enough and kind of have it far enough away when I'm spraying it can feel a little wet and crunchy so I have to just be a little careful but I'm still playing around with it and I really wonder what it'd be like on you know my shorter hair and last from Octoly I had talked about the Caudalie hand set that I had got I'll put a picture of it here this is at Sephora it's probably on Caudalie's website as well but it's a $15 little like gift set hand cream trio this one is the rose one but there's the original which smells so good it's like a grapefruit scent um and then the other one it's like tea of the vine or what <laughs> i don't know what what did i say in that video it translates i think to like grapes or something but it doesn't smell like grapes it smells so good it's like my favorite scent in hand cream like ever but anyway i've been using a ton the originals in my car the other one it's kind of lost but it's like already over halfway gone love the formula of this hand cream one of my favorites and i really like the price point i thought 15 dollars you can either keep them all for yourself and kind of stash them around your house or you can gift it. I thought that was nice. I already knew I loved the formula so I was excited to try the different scents. Let me preview with some prices here. I forgot all about it. Caudalie Hand Cream Set, I told you $15. The Fraser Fur Candle is $30. The Otherland Co. Candle is $36 and the Eva NYC Texture Spray retails for $12. We're getting close guys. We're getting close. Next let's talk about some PR that I got because of Paige. So if you guys don't know Paige Corn here on YouTube, she messaged me and was like, hey, I'm having a collaboration. I want to send it to you. Would you be down? And I was like, oh my God, congrats. Yes. So she collabed with Blinged Brushes and this is just the most authentic collaboration ever. I mean, pink sparkly rhinestone brushes for Paige. Yep, these things are so freaking beautiful. I love pink sparkles as much as the next girl, you guys. She sent me the 13 piece brush set, which all of the ferals have those crystals on them look at it and then the ferals are rose gold they're really soft synthetic brushes really nice all of these I believe are put on like hand like hand done and honestly to sit here and tell you I didn't know how this was gonna be like I've seen the blinged brushes but this feels really sturdy really nice quality I don't feel like they're gonna come off it's like an ASMR dream as well listen to that you could do that you could use your if you have long nails, you could do that. I mean, I don't know if that's why you're buying these brushes, but um, yeah, you could do that. Hard not to notice that. Anyway, they're really quite nice. And I thought it was really sweet of her to send these to me. So those were awesome. And honestly, once I held them, I was like, these probably are really expensive. And they, they kind of are. They're pretty expensive. For the 13 piece brush set, if you were just to buy that, it's like $144. I know, I was like, holy crap, I felt even more special at the end of the day. <laughs> she also had a sponge set with them. Um, I've tried one of them. It's not too hard, it's not like super soft, but the sponge set is $32. Um, if you wanted though, if you wanted to buy like the full PR bundle, it would be 170. So that's what I counted my uh, cost for. I mean, if these are your thing, 
like these are they're nice they are nice but they're just definitely for like that person you know and they definitely can be show pieces I don't know I'm like surprised on my thoughts honestly on these I didn't know if I would like them because they're pretty gaudy you know what I mean but they're they're really pretty. I actually really like them. Um, and it's pretty interesting because of all the rhinestones on them, they actually are a little bit fatter. And so it's like different holding them in my hand as I do my makeup. So that's just something I noticed as well. Really quite beautiful. So congratulations Paige and thank you so much for sending them to me. I have some skincare stuff to show you guys. Derma E sent their hydrating mist, just the hydrating mist. This retails for like $13.50 and I don't know why, I'm like a sucker for mist. And this one has hyaluronic acid, rose water and coconut water. All sound amazing to me. So kind of like moved up to the next uh, <laughs> mist I'm gonna be using. Next is kind of a creepy package because I don't know how this got sent to me. Honest Beauty sent over this new line of skincare that it's like all about calming, but like literally I never got an email from them. I've never been in contact with anyone from them. I don't know how they got my address. I'm sure they're just like connected to like some other brand. I don't, I'm not really sure. So I wasn't expecting this. Don't know really much about it. Haven't tried it yet, but they sent over the Calm and Go Face Mist, the Daily Calm Lightweight Moisturizer, the Calm and Perfect Serum, and the Calm On Foaming Cream Cleanser. It also came with this like headband. So all of that together, I think the headband retails for about $15. Not that exact one was on the website, but all the other headbands that I saw on there were that price. And then you can buy all of the new products together in a kit for $85.95. Yeah, let me know if you've tried this brand. Do you like it? I don't know. I just, I'm appreciative, don't get me wrong. I just was like, um, how are you here? Help. <laughs> I believe the last thing on my list, let me check. Yes, we did it. We're on to the last thing, you guys. I know it was a long one, but Wet n Wild sent me some stuff. So first they sent over a package with their blush lighter duos in them. I was actually really excited for this one because I've been wanting to actually try these. They retail for $6.49 a piece and they sent me all three of the colors. The only one I've tried is this one here. This is the shade I met someone and it has like a highlighter type color as well as like a peachy-ish blush, but again, but they are both very shimmery, so they're kind of both highlighters or blushes, depending on your skin tone, depending on how you're using them. So far, I've enjoyed this one. I haven't opened the other two just because I'm not sure if the colors are perfect for me and I don't want to waste them if I can help it. This one is Flash Me. It's more of a berry. Really beautiful. Um, and then this one is Highlight Bling, and it has more of like an icy highlight with a cooler pink kind of peachy blush still. And then I got sent every single one of their new repackaged lipsticks. So I got a lot of them. There's like 26 in total. I have not tried all of them. Again, in that random makeup reviews video, I did talk about the matte ones, a few I've tried, and I've enjoyed the formula. Most of these are sealed though. I'd like to pass on as many of them as I can, but the packaging, the new packaging is pretty cute. It's like black with a little lip on it. The matte formula are in the black tube and then the more glossy formula are in the white tube. So I tend to like more of like a pencil formula and I've also actually really been into liquid lipsticks lately, but I was excited to be able to try different colors from those. And so in total for all the stuff from Wet n Wild, it's $97.21, which brings our grand total of PR to quite a bit at $1,058.15. I know guys, that's a lot of money. And this kind of brings us back to the point of the video uh, of why I mentioned the money. It's not to brag. I really hope that, you know, if you've seen some of this stuff or I know like when I would watch people, sometimes it'd be like, I'd want all that stuff too, but no, to have all this stuff, like the stuff that I didn't even pay for, the stuff that was sent to me, it would cost like over a thousand dollars. And I don't know your finances. I don't know your financial goals, but you know, it just can hopefully help you check that and make sure that what you are purchasing is what you really want. Because let's be honest of all the stuff that was sent to me, most of that I wouldn't have purchased or been able to have if I didn't get it sent to me. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've picked up any of this stuff or maybe what you wanna see some more reviews of. I'm definitely looking into restructuring how this video goes in the new year. I'm gonna finish out this year. I've talked about this a little bit, but it just is becoming not, it's not fun to me anymore in some ways, like collecting all this stuff and showing it in a video, especially things that I haven't even tried yet and all that, it just feels kind of a burden. I don't mind the transparency aspect, but it's just something that I'm definitely working on for the future so that I can stay excited about the video. Like that's why I started it. And I don't want it to feel so taxing of trying to collect all this stuff and show it to you. So I'm just working on that. Just thought I would share that with you at the end, but 
okay, I'm gonna end it here. This was a long video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I truly hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. And other than that, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.